Hello and welcome to all you Libras. For some of you, happy birthday, dear Librans. Have a very, very good solar return. And uh, this is your monthly horoscope for October of 2020. A five minute video, hopefully not too long. Concise, precise um, information. So let's get started. Three things that I want to say. First of all, of course, same old, same old, the Mars retrograde. And uh, secondly, Mercury going retrograde as well in Scorpio. Very significant uh, for the Librans on a value level and a financial level. And third, last but not least, very positive aspect that I want to mention here is Venus in a trine to um, in, in uh, Virgo in a trine to Jupiter, Pluto, Saturn. Now let's get started with the Mercury retrograde because this is very, very significant. It's in your second house, which is your house. It's the house that is ruled by uh, Venus. Well, your house is actually the seventh, the seventh house, but this house, the second house, is also ruled by your ruler Venus. And you're having Mercury there, which is the planet of thinking, communication, um, and this is going backwards and forwards for practically the whole month. Around and about the 15th, it goes backwards around 11 degrees of Scorpio. Now, it's not only that. So normally that would mean for you that your thoughts are a little bit more on money. That is the second house. on, uh, uh, But also on self-worth or food. You know, the second house is also what you put into your mouth. Now, the significance becomes a bit bigger here because, because of the retrograde, it's going to bump three times, three times into the planet Uranus, the planet of liberation, the planet of sudden insights, the planet of change. So um, sudden changes. And um, this is going to happen three times. The 7th of October, 20th of October and the 18th of November. So this means, let's start with the, with the basic level, you know, the financial level. This means if you want to improve your financial situation, there's definitely a possibility for that. But um, there's going to be some insights that you need to have, some aha moments that are going to appear because you digging deep into finding a solution to improve your situation, for instance. And uh, it's related to the eighth house, so it could be related to resources of someone else as well. Whatever it is, it's um, only when Mercury goes direct again around the 4th of November, but certainly the last time it touches Uranus, which is the 18th of November, that you're going to have the green light to implement something new that is way more real, way more authentic and actually way better. So there could be on a financial level a bit more of a struggle in the beginning, but ultimately it's to improve your situation. So a lot of you will be in that in that context of trying to find new ways of earning money or trying to find different ways of, um, you know, with insur uh, um, insurances or with uh, loan money, how you uh, uh, would deal will deal with this to improve your situation. It's definitely a good time for doing so on another level. It has to do with your self-worth. So you're digging deep to uh, maybe first the self-worth could go a bit down there because of a certain situation or because of the things that are happening around you. But ultimately, it has to do with how I transform and how I take back my power, how I take back my confidence by putting more focus on my own values. So there could be a bit of a clash between your values and someone else. But ultimately... It's to show you what you are all about. And for Librans, that's not always easy. That's not always easy because Librans always want to have the peace, right? That's what you're all about. It's a pretty interesting transit here. And um, another very nice earthly energy that is really softening the whole hor horoscope, so to speak, is Venus in your 12th house in Virgo, trining Jupiter, Pluto, Saturn in your 4th house. So this Jupiter, Pluto, Saturn... It's quite heavy energy to have in the fourth house, which is emotions um, and it's, you know, Mars in your relationship sector. Uh, you want to go forwards when it comes to relationships, but there, there are things that are holding you back. Um, there could be some struggles with home, with, with, uh, um, with property, 
Um, so that is still at, on the background, at the background. So this Mars retrograde, I, I, I have a separate video if you want to see that Mars retrograde for Libra and you have more of an explanation there. But it's same old, same old. So it's for the whole month, still Mars, you want to go forwards in relationships, single or not. But there's something that holds you back. It's like the emotional insecurity or either it is because of um, the, you're, you're fighting over a place to stay um, or to live, etc. What I want to say is keep on going. Don't give up and don't push too hard. You know, these barriers um, are there for a reason. Uh, but it's, it's going to improve for sure. Now, this Venus in the 12th house can be a bit of a softening of this energy. And what is Venus in the 12th house in a very positive way? It is reloading your batteries by alone time. By, um, yes, Venus in the 12th can be, you know, that you, um, that can be having an eye for someone that is not, not available and whatnot. But I think with this beautiful trine to your fourth house, it has more to do with uh, you being you um, and just by being alone and doing the stuff that you love to do alone whether it is watching a movie having a good glass of wine or whether it is walking down the beach just by yourself and really being connected with nature um, so if you're having a bit of a hard time spend some time alone but nice time alone and um, you can enjoy that for sure so all in all um, very interesting and of course the full moons and the new moons there's going to be a full moon in Aries around the first of the month so relationships it's going to be very clear your needs versus uh, their needs and um, it's all about the balance right and um, there's also a new moon in your sign on the 16th at 23 degrees of Libra so there is a new beginning when it comes to what you are all about and where you want to go throughout your life. It's like your birthday that you're having, you know, and um, so bear that in mind as well, that there are new beginnings for you, how you do you, how you do the Libra. And having said that, thank you so much for watching. Um, thank you so much for your time and see you next time. Bye bye.